They say truth hurts. Here in India, we saw this play out live on Twitter. Case in point being a humble advertisement. Indian matchmaking website Bharat Matrimony has come under fire. A debate has broken out on Twitter. Hashtag boycott Bharat Matrimony is trending. It has been accused of hurting religious sentiments all because of an ad. Let me break it down for you. The video features a woman. She is covered in colors after holy celebrations. She is seen washing her face only to reveal a face smeared with bruises. What was the motive of this ad? To highlight harassment faced by women on holy. But the message was grossly misunderstood. Why is that? Isn't harassing women on holy a reality? And why just holy? Women in India will tell you stories of harassment that they face on a daily basis, holy or not, in their own homes and outside. Speaking of which, let me show you some numbers here. According to the latest National Family Health Survey, 30% married Indian women have faced domestic or sexual violence. 3% of pregnant women experience physical violence during any pregnancy. The number of domestic violence cases in India almost doubled between 2001 and 2018, almost doubled. And these are just the cases that have been reported, by the way. Very important to remember. More than 77% of women stay mum about violence. More than 77%. That's domestic abuse. Let's just talk about harassment on holy. Recently, a 65-year-old woman was beaten to death in Jharkhand in India. Why is that? Because she stopped a group of six from applying color to her son. So how exactly was the ad wrong in raising awareness about this issue? And why are people so triggered? Why so much sensitivity around a prevalent problem? Let's have a look at some comments. I'm quoting, it's disappointing to see that you are equating our festivals with harassment. That's what one of the users said. I'm quoting from another reaction. You guys are absolutely disgusting. How dare you link a social message with the Hindu festival of Holi? Also, since we are clarifying, the purpose of this story is to not issue a defense on behalf of Bharat matrimony. It is about exposing the denial that people seem to be living in. Such denial of reality that they are ready to smear creativity or expression with religious colors to hide the real truth. The truth about harassment that women face on a daily basis. It seems to me that netizens react in extremes if they see anything other than a sanitized image of India's reality. And which explains why food and grocery deliverer Swiggy was also trolled this week. Again, over an ad. A billboard advertisement. Let's just look at what it was all about. The billboard had a checklist relating to eggs, it checked off omelette and sunny side up, but put a cross against throwing eggs on someone's head, something which is often observed on Holi. As soon as the billboards were up, tweets with hashtag Hinduphobic Swiggy started flooding the internet. Users, users urged others to boycott Swiggy. All this for what? For raising awareness around safe Holi celebrations? Are people really that intolerant? Have a look at these visuals. Have a look at the boy smashing egg, eggs on this little girl's head. How fair was the criticism against Swiggy then? It ultimately had to take down the advertisements, by the way. And where does it leave freedom of expression? The question might seem redundant because 
Trigger points are subjective, but recent incidents have pointed towards a gross intolerance among people. Instead of ignoring what doesn't align with their views, people turn to boycotting and cancel culture. Something similar happened with Tanishk as well, the Tanishk ad, when the jewellery brand featured an interfaith couple. What does it mean? Will creative outlets keep coming under the bus for remotely referring to religion, even on views meant to raise awareness? If you don't like an ad, don't see it. If you don't like a product, don't buy it. If you have a problem with Bharat matrimony, find your partner elsewhere. If you hate Swiggy, buy your eggs from the Kirana store or any other online store. If you have a lot of time to waste, try doing something meaningful for a change. To stop making an issue of just about everything. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.